Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss about a free project, which is given by the clcoding.com website, which is this website. I'll provide you the link of that website. And that project is to perform exploratory data analysis on retail data with Python. That is a free project provided by Coursera. When we we'll click on start project, you will go to the Coursera uh, page and you have to follow some steps and then you will get a zip folder after extracting that zip folder you will get two files one online underscore retail dot jupyter notebook file of python and the second file you will get of the data set that is in excel format so when you open this python file then when this python file will open then there will be the name of the project then there will be overview of that project that what you you're going to do in the project then there will be a case study objectives of that project and then there will be some data set information that how many columns are there and which column means this invoice number has which type of data as you can see invoice number of the transaction I means this invoice number represents the transactions so the information about the data set has been provided and then there is the task so there are eight tasks total given to us and I have followed and completed all of the eight tasks as you can see here first the task is to load the data set into pandas data frame so like that I have load first I have imported all the libraries which we are going to need in this project so I have read all the tasks first and then I have realized that for the loading data to pandas data frame and for do some perform some central tendency anti person I would be needed a pandas library so I have important pandas then for data visualization we'll need the help of matplotlib.pyplot library so we have imported that also and then c1 to visualize the data in a more interactive way so as you can see I have performed all the tasks so I'll provide you the link of both the website also from where you can access this project that is clcoding.com and then this file also this project file link also I'll provide you so you can just download this file and you can just take help from this file and if you have basic knowledge in python about these few libraries that is pandas and matplotlib then it will be very easy for you then you can see in task 3 the question the task 3 was to find the central tendency and this person so in central tendency we have to find mean median mode of the data so you have to analyze the data that of which of the columns you have to find the mean median mode so I have find for the quantity and unit price so according to that you have to understand about that also that which columns are we used for which of the uh, data analysis then in the task 4 we have done the data visualization using the matplotlib library as you can see we have printed the histogram of both of the data of the quantity and unit price then there is the bar plot and then there is the scatter plot and in task 5 we have to find basically the busiest month and the days of weeks in terms of sales so you have you can see here i have used pandas functions and libraries to find the busiest month and the days of the week then in task 6 we have to find the top selling product and the country based on sold based on sellings that which is the top country and which is the top selling product so as you can find world war ii leaders acid designs are the top company and then as number wise in top one there is world war ii then at number two there is jumbo bag and so on it is there and top selling country is united kingdom now at task seven you have to find the anomalies and the outliers which are if present in our data sets so for that i have first visualized the data using the box plot for quantity and unit price and then after that for the outliers i have done the calculations here as you can see like this and and task 8 in task 8 we have to draw the conclusion and summarize our findings after solving this whole seven tasks so that we have to write in our python file over here and then you have to upload this file in your github 
and that github link you will share in the coursera and that they will provide a page and after that your project will be completed and you can share it in your profile also so that's it that was it for the project i'll provide you the links of the uh, this website also from where you'll find this project and the link of my project also which i have uploaded in my github so you can check that also so i hope you will complete this project this is very interesting project if you have interest in python data analysis so you can go for this project uh, i hope you will complete this project thanks for watching the video we'll see you in the